What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon. Crypto Universe, today is Thursday, December 15th. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about great holiday gifts to give to your family and friends in the form of an NFT. Now, what I find really interesting is that no one really thinks about NFTs as amazing holiday gifts, but really it is because you're introducing to somebody something new, something that is surprising. And also it's an asset in some way. You're not just gifting somebody a JPEG. You're giving somebody something that could possibly accrue in value. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you a few collections that are kind of on my radar. And these collections can vary as gifts for different age ranges and different sexes. So if it's for a lady, for a guy, this is exactly the video that you should be looking into. So the NFT collections that we're gonna look into are Solana NFTs, because again, it's a lot easier to learn how to buy, sell, trade NFTs and to gift. If you wanna learn how to buy NFTs on Solana, there are many other videos out there online on YouTube that can teach you how to do that. So this video is solely based on just highlighting those collections that you should buy once you figured all that out. So guys, stick around to the very end to hear my conclusion and statement. And as always, be sure to like up that button, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to join our Patreon page, and most importantly, please be careful to any of the scammers down in the comments below. I'll never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email. So please be careful and invest safely. Guys and girls, let's get right into it. So, you know, if you go to Magic Eden, which is the website for great Solana NFTs, there are a ton of NFTs. If we go to popular collections, either based on the six hour or one hour, there are just so many. And it's maybe really hard to find the best NFT, especially if you're a beginner in the space. But if you're wanting to give something for someone who is either new or maybe someone who is familiar with Web3, well, this is the place you want to go. Now, let's go and start with the lower end side of these collections. I'm talking about collections that suit children, people who are under the age of 10, 15, so that the images are more friendly. So let's go and focus on the first collection, and that is Critter's Cult. Critter's Cult, I think, in my perspective, is a great opportunity to buy one of these NFTs. Now it's around 8.42 Solana. So each Solana is roughly around 14 to $15 right now as we speak. So this roughly is a good average price for people to kind of enter in. It's roughly ranging between $200 and less. So just keep that in mind when you're buying one of these NFTs. But what's great about the story and the lore of this is that it has a nostalgic style to it. If you go to their Twitter page, which is this link right here, it'll show you kind of the storyline, the narrative that's being built within this collection. But what I find what's really amazing about this NFT or these NFTs is the artwork. It's all pixelated artwork and it's very kid friendly. Imagine a kid decides to use this for their Facebook profile picture. And then all of a sudden when we're in the next bull market, that picture is worth way more. So I'm bringing these collections up such as Critters Call is because I really believe it's not just buying a gift for somebody to show as a JPEG on their profile picture, but also that will accrue in value as an asset, right? That the value will grow, that the floor price will grow. Because it's not just the floor price. What about Solana? Solana's floor price could grow. But there are so many great traits for young kids that can definitely enjoy these PFPs or these JPEGs or these NFTs. That's absolutely great. You can't ignore the trading volume, which is 250,000 Solana, which is a lot of money. And the fact that there is 2,300 holders who own around the 5.6 thousand supply, right? So 5,600 supply. And there's only 500 listed on the floor right now out of the 5,000. So that's really amazing. That means people are holding, people are big fans of this NFT. And that's why I wanna suggest that this is definitely one of your choices to think about gifting somebody. What else is there? Well, there's also pop heads. Now pop heads is interesting. It's an interesting storyline that's going on behind the scenes. Now, I've actually seen the price of this collection even go up to as high as maybe around six Solana last time I checked. But it's actually dipped all the way down to 1.3 Solana. So this may be more affordable. This is roughly around $30 or less. So if you look at this collection, why would this be something interested for your kid to acquire? Well, the artwork is actually quite cute. I do think that it's a very cartoonish vibe. And also it's very friendly. I can definitely see this image being on someone's phone. They can take it to them and maybe put it on their computer at school and show their friends. But also again, it's an asset. I do think that this will grow in time. Plus what I think you just can't really ignore is the trading volume. It's 25,000, 25,000 Solana. 2,700 holders, around a 10,000 collection. So that's pretty crazy. And another thing I wanna note is that there's around 1,400 of these NFTs on the market floor. The reason I'm bringing that up is because that means, say for instance, if this listing drops to around 900 to 500 NFTs listed on the floor, you will imagine that these floor prices around 1.3 at the time of this recording will go up 
in value, especially in the next bull market, but it could even happen before then, right? It, bull market may not happen in less than a year from now. So I think that this is a great opportunity to look at these things and be like, is this something you want to acquire? What's also great about this is that you get a pop head, but also there's a body that will come with it later. Now you got to follow their Twitter page to stay up to date with that, which is this link right here. But again, so many different great traits here. And I definitely think that this is something that your kid can definitely represent. Now, what else is there? There's also something for the young adults. I'm talking about, this is more like boys. This is like maybe ages between 15 and up. We're talking about young adults who want to be a part of the NFT space. But what's great about Liberty Square is that they're also building something, right? They're building a lot behind the scenes. This is, I think, one of the more stronger blue chip collections, which I absolutely love. And what's great about it, it's a little bit more volatile, meaning like there's a little bit more imagery that could be kind of violent. So there's like guns, there's knives, there's, you know, flaming bottles. So obviously this is due to the overall lore of it, right? This is about rebellion. This is about fighting against the system. But also you just can't ignore that the artwork is pretty sick. I actually love it, love it, love it. And the community is actually quite strong. Six thousand nft holders with around ten thousand supply so to me there's a lot more holders of this of the supply and there's only 216 of these nfts on the floor and i do think that this will grow in value over time as well ten slon i think is actually a, quite an affordable price if you have a couple hundred dollars to spare but again this is just my own opinion it's not financial advice just my own opinion for your entertainment but I think this will be great for young adults, especially young guys who want to represent an image if they want to. But what else is there? There's also the Liberty Square Hollowed. So this is kind of the same company, the same founders creating another collection. But some NFTs I want you guys to keep in mind here is that this was a newer collection. I would go to style and then there are two things. I will look at purity on the left-hand side and you'll see these ladies. So this is something that I think could suit the young ladies in case they're into the rebellion type of attitude and style. But also another one that I think is really cool is Innocence. Now Innocence is the child version NFT. Now this one right here is for 65 Solana and know this, this is a legendary. So 65 Solana is quite a bit of money. And yes, 34 Solana is quite a bit of money. But if you want to buy something that will accrue in value, I mean, it seems like people see a lot of quality in these NFTs right here and say that they're going to grow in value. But if not, you can choose any of the lower tier ones like these guys for around 3.6 Solana. So again, I'm trying to show you what's more affordable in your price range. Next up, we have something called uh, Lily. Now, Lily is actually an interesting artwork form. Now, Lily is spawned by the Lotus Gang. That's another NFT collection that I'm not going to dive deep into. But why is this on my radar? Well, this is for anybody who you think could be either a young woman or a young lady who really feels like they need a PFP that represents them. Because again, in the NFT space, there's a lot of male dominated NFTs. But Lily tends to have a mix between men and women, which I really dig. And what's great about this is that this was a fairly new collection that came out and there was around 10,000 of these NFTs. And the backstory around this is that they were charging around five Solana to mint. And what, if you don't know, five Solana is a lot in this space. Some people can't even mint out a, an entire collection, especially 10,000 for five Solana. And in the bear market, this collection minted the entire collection all in five Solana. So people did buy into these. And what's really interesting is that the floor price is around 8.95 Solana. Now we did see this dip all the way down to five and has gone all the way up to almost 20 Solana. Now there's 1300 of these NFTs on the floor. Now there are more holders. That means that there are more whales that hold these NFTs, which could mean that they could manipulate the price if they wanted to. But again, we're not here to buy a bulk of these things. We're just here to gift somebody an asset, an NFT, to enter them into the Web3 space or to have them have it in their portfolio. For 8.95 Solana, I think that's an absolutely great deal. And as you can see, there's a lot of different ladies they can use for you know whoever you want. So I think this is an absolute steal in my opinion. Now what's next? Let's talk about uh, one of the more hype projects. Now this is the most expensive one. Now the reason I'm bringing this up is because now we're talking about adults. We're talking about both men and women. Now Utes is a collection that is infamous. It has three collections. There's Utes, D-Gods, and Dead Gods, and the Ute Tubes. Now all of these collections have reached over one to two million in trading volume in Solana. You heard me right. And you can even see it here for Utes, which is 1.7. So what's really great about this backstory is that this is the leading collection so far on Solana. And that's why you see the floor price around 141 Solana. So yes, this is very, very pricey, super, super pricey, almost to $2,000, even more than that, just to acquire one of the cheaper NFTs. 
But the reason I think this could definitely be in your reader is because if you have liquidity, maybe you could buy this for your wife, maybe you could buy this for your husband, because again, it is expensive for a reason, but it could be because, you know, this could be a new asset for them to hold. Maybe this is a big NFT investment. Maybe you don't want to buy the other ones before you just want to buy this one. This could be a great present. But again, it is very pricey, but they are developing staking mechanisms. There's going to be some benefits to holding these NFTs in the Ethereum world, meaning since this is a Solana based NFT, if you stake your NFTs to earn points, then you could possibly have a chance to get into an Ethereum collection because they're kind of bridging over to Ethereum as well. So I just want to share that with you, but I don't want to go into too much detail with this collection. Now, let's talk about Primates. Now, Primates is actually an interesting collection. Now, this one has around 482,000 in Solana trading volume. But the reason I pay attention to this is because of one simple thing. The floor price is absolutely cheap and affordable, around 5.7 Solana. There's a thousand of these NFTs on the market floor right now with around less than 5,000 of these holders holding these NFTs within the 10,000 collection. Now, as you can see, there are many different type of NFTs that you can look for, but I've seen this floor price jump from around five to Solana, even up to 20 Solana and higher. That's crazy, right? But I do think that this could be an absolutely great deal for 5.7 Solana. And as you can see here, there's a difference between the original design and then the mutated design. And right now I'm looking at the mutated designs because they look a lot better, but also it could be a great steal in my opinion. So obviously this could be something not to skip out on. Now, I don't know what they're building exactly, but again, we're only talking about gifts, right? I'm not here to tell you buy a ton of these in bulk and then hold for dear life. No, I want you just to look at one NFT for each collection in case you want to buy one. And next up, what's another one? OK Bears. Now this one is 55 Solana in the cheapest floor price. But why am I bringing this collection up? Well, it's because 55 Solana is actually quite cheap compared to its all time high of around 250. We haven't seen 250 Solana in a few months now. And right now this company is actually one of the blue chips of Solana. It's just up there, right? With Utes and D-Gods and all these other blue chip collections. And if you can get one for 55 slant, that's actually a great deal because they actually have a partnership signed licensing deal with IMG, which deals with many different companies like Fortnite and Puma and so forth, so on. Pretty much that licensing deal will help OK Bears expand globally and maybe sign other licensing deals. If it's like a book, a movie, whatever it may be, the NFT will help you get access to that. It's absolutely a huge tribute to that. And you wanna be a part of a next blue chip and they have around 2.4 million. This is the first collection to reach 2.4, actually 2.3 million in trading volume in Solana in an entire Solana community. So that's why I think having these OK Bears for your, uh, your husband, your wife, your girlfriend, boyfriend, I think is absolutely a great gift and may make them really excited about holding one of these. Now, the last thing I want to share with you is this DGEN's factory, also known as DGEN's on Solana. Now, the reason I bring this up is because we've covered DGEN so many times in our videos. And what's great about these NFTs is that I think they're actually a great entry price. Again, okay? I only want you to look at this as a gift if you're gifting somebody. I'm not trying to manipulate you to buy things you can't afford to think you can get rich overnight. But what I feel really promising about this project is community. They have staking mechanisms that's soon going to come online so you can earn DGEN token, which is going to become a liquidity token. So it's actually going to be worth money. You can cash out whenever you want. And it's going to be reg registered with the Swiss financial authorities. But also the artworks is fantastic. The trading volume is fantastic. And I just love everything about it. And what's great about the motto between this collection, it's all about the motto of sweeping, right? That's why they have these brooms uh, held on their shoulders is because when you own one of these, you're being a part of a community that's known for sweeping collections. It's like up there with youths. It's just a new movement that's happening and it's growing and growing in value over and over. So to me, I think this is definitely something to keep an eye on. Uh, and if you can find something that has a really great background, if you can, like if I'm scrolling down, I'm going to try to look for a background like this one, say for instance, has a Tetris background. This one has a wood background, maybe a TV headset and so much so on. I mean, there's so many different traits you can look forward to, but again, really great artwork that you just cannot ignore. So again, that's pretty much it. So those are my top collections I think you guys should look out for. Now, what's my conclusion around this? Remember what I said is that all these different NFTs I've shared with you is for different ages, different sexes. I want you to find the one that is the best gift for your a significant other or for your loved one. Because again, we were buying these gifts because we want to either educate people, share with them what you love and why it's so cool so that maybe they get interested in the space. 
but also it could be someone who is established, who is familiar with NFTs and Web3, or maybe is familiar with Web3, but not so much NFTs. Well, this will be a way to either uh, educate them in that form on the NFTs, or it's just something that they've always wanted and you finally got that for them. So I think this is an absolute case scenario right here. So I hope that this video has been helpful and that these gift examples have been really helpful. Uh, I look forward to buying an NFT of one of these choices to my significant other, maybe for my only friends and family. So hopefully that's really helpful. Yeah. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And I want to wish everybody a happy holidays. I will be publishing videos every day, even on the holidays. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any other suggestions for other NFTs that you would gift your significant other, leave a comment down below on YouTube or Twitter. And I hope to hear from you. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like up that button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Cryptolution. Join our Patreon page for all our private alpha calls, investment strategies, and one-on-one -on -one consultations in the link below. Limited spaces are available, so be sure to reserve your spot today. Invest safely, and we'll see you on the next episode of Cryptolution.